I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't wanna get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win. I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag. I wanna weigh, I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that got me obsessed with the First look, 2024 Aston Martin DB12. Aston Martin tastes the wheat. With a 234 million pounds, CAD 393 million dollars, cash injection from Geely and the best start to a Formula One season since the Aston Martin team's existence, Gaiden is now looking to create a new touring segment. When grand isn't enough, says Aston, the obvious thing to do is go super. From the past, wanna escape my pain. I just wanna be a better person. I deserve this. I just wanna break these chains. I was destined for greatness. True to myself, I never fake it. So, what warrants this new, amazing designation? Well, first of all, the numbers. More precisely, the engine number. Elevating the turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 to new heights, a bigger turbo, bigger cam cams, and boosted compression ratio produces 670 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Impressively, maximum torque is available from 2,750 to 6,000 revolutions per minute peak horsepower. This is made even more evident by Ashton's decision to use a shorter rear axle ratio for more doubling of torque, even if the engine isn't quite as relaxed at high revs as a Grand Tourer. Performances, as the British like it, adequate, 96 kilometers is covered in 3.5 seconds which is totally believable, and the AMG turbocharged V8 won't stop pulling until the last dB passes 320 kilometers per hour. To ensure all the superlatives don't just apply to the straights, Ashton's 8-speed automatic was fitted, for the first time in a dB, to the electronically controlled rear differential. Its main advantage, says Aston, is the ability to go from fully open to 100% closed in milliseconds, all the better for drivers who want to manage all that torque as it threatens their rear Michelin. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. Also completely new is a new generation of what Aston calls intelligent adaptive dampers. With a 500% increase in force distribution bandwidth, that's just pseudo speak for Ashton's claim of five times greater damping range than the previous generation. The new DB should provide a smoother ride when in GT mode and less roll when super. Of course, the latter will also be supported by stiffer anti-roll bars which are also part of the super package. The company also says that the DB12's chassis is 7% more torque stiff than the previous DB11, and that the special implementation of electronically powered steering, with a non-isolated steering column, no less, produces superior steering feedback for the driver. 
Meanwhile, taking advantage of all that speed are several giant 400mm cast iron front discs with grooved and perforated surfaces. But, if you want the DB12 to be truly, super, you should opt for a set of carbon ceramic brakes 410mm front. Which not only withstands high temperatures but also reduces weight, all on sprung, by up to 27 kilograms. On the, big, side, Aston says the two custom flavors of the Michelin Pilot Sport 5S, front 275 35 R21 and front 315 30 R21 feature noise-dampening polyurethane foam inserts inside the carcass that reduce tire, buzz, by 20%. Round, think I need a new lobotomy Wait, all these thoughts are too negative I don't wanna get lost in the sedative Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag I want a way I can change all the things I lack I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch The DB's revamped interior is perhaps most appreciated We have to say that the DB11's cabin is a bit traditional like all Aston cabins, this one still flaunts aromatic scents and hand-stitched bridge leather and Alcantara trim. What's new is the next-generation infotainment system, entirely designed and developed by Aston Martin, nothing less. We'll let you know how the underdog British company handles the software wars when we drive the DB12 in a few weeks, but we do know that it supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and features a 10.25-inch 1970 by 720 touchscreen. One good sign is that it still retains the most used controls, the drive and heating and ventilation options that offer a perfect mix of digital and analog controls and suspension, exhaust noise, lane assist, and parking distance controls, as physical buttons. One small disappointment, considering how Aston pushed the DB12 as a super, rather than just a grand, the default audio system is a 390 watt system with just 11 speakers. If you want the full Bowers and Wilkins experience with a 15 speaker 1170 watt, dual amplified subwoofer, you'll need to get more douchebags. Considering that a standard DB12, Super, likely won't offer much in the way of $300,000, we think it deserves truly superior sound from the start. Aston Methinks looks at Porsche's pricing structure with envy. Another thing that's wrong with the new DB may actually be its super touring naming. Oh, that sure looks great. After all, majesty is the essence of ultra-luxury cars. However, if abbreviated as Grand Touring GT, the abbreviation has long been known to denote Aston Martin's supremacy. The Super Touring, however, became Street, the designation with which Ford's small hatchback is most synonymous.